outsiders to make a presentation to us. We see that Ciders is one of the sponsors and they're uh, doing a tremendous job in Zambia. So, President Zedeme. Good morning. Thank you, uh, Chair of the Scientific Committee. Um, on behalf of uh, Zambia Medical Session, we would like to acknowledge um, all of you, invite you to this uh, occasion, which I think was every done by the SG this morning. Um, at this point, we would like to acknowledge all the sponsors, uh, but in particular, we would like to acknowledge our all weather sponsor, Ciders who have been um, very supportive of uh, the work that ZDMA is doing, especially our core business, which is care for the carers. Uh, at the height of uh, COVID, we received a lot of support from everyone, but Ciders went a step further and donated kits, test kits that we were able to distribute to all our chapters, and they were a life-saving uh, intervention. Um, CIDAS has been there uh, when we we need a resource, not only in monetary terms, but also in human resource, you know, to make sure that our, our services that we are providing uh, um, are, are fully supported uh, by the sector. And I have to say also that uh, we are trying to encourage other implementing partners that are working in the space to emulate what CIDAS has done. And CIDAS today is represented at the highest level by the CEO of Dr. Iskandi Skazwe, and she will be coming forward to make her presentation. Dr. Skazwe, please. Thank you, Crispin, for that really warm introduction. I'd like to thank the executive of ZMA for the privilege to be here and um, allow me to wear my marketing hat as the chief marketing officer for CIDES. I also want to apologize to you, Chair, that I don't have a scientific paper, but my team is here and we will present some of our research. So I will talk to you about the Center, of, the Center for Infectious Disease Research in Zambia. A lot of my peers and those older than me in this room and joining in virtually have passed through CIDAS and know CIDAS pretty well. They have contributed to the growth of CIDAS and um, the achievements that we have. So we're an independent local NGO and have been in existence since 2001. Uh, we were founded by a really strong collaboration between the University of Alabama in Birmingham, the University of Zambia School of Medicine, as well as the Ministry of Health. Uh, through the years, we received funding from the U.S. government through various um, agencies, um, both CDC and USAID. In 2011 to 2013 was really a period of transition for us from being a field office to actually being a local entity, and we registered um, here in Zambia. It was also a period of transition with um, leadership uh, being really uh, owned by Zambians. So we have a Zambian majority board, independent board that I report to, as well as um, Zambian leadership at the highest level of CIDERS. Um, our vision is a Zambia and a region in which all people have access to quality health care and enjoy the best possible health. And part of this vision is why we're able to partner with ZMA at a time of critical need last year. Our mission is to improve access to quality health care through innovative capacity development, exceptional implementation science and research, and uh, ensuring that we're able to have impactful and sustainable public health programs. I think we've been able to demonstrate that over the last 20 years. With this slide, I want to show you part of the management team, and I'm honored to have um, Dr. Moviana sitting here in the audience with me, and others from my, my leadership and uh, management team. 
I want to bring your focus to some of our achievements. We have um, over 80 active grants, over 19 active funders, both uh, from the US government, um, the EU region, UK, and even here on the continent. We have over a thousand full-time staff, and in the last fiscal year, we had a turnover of about $45 million. Over the last five years, we've been able to have an annual turnover of over $40 million each fiscal year. Our approach is really anchored around training, technical assistance, and exceptional research. I want to bring your focus onto uh, the research studies that we undertake given that I'm presenting in this scientific session. And we have our research studies that are lab-based, uh, clinical trials, as well as implementation science. But this research would not be possible were it not for the work that we do in the public health facilities. As you're aware, CIDAS does support the government in the public health facilities, uh, mostly through technical assistance right now. So with uh, our work in the public health facilities, we're able to generate questions, research questions, with our colleagues uh, at the Ministry of Health that then help us to feed into our research agenda. Our impact over the last several years is shown on this slide. And uh, what I'm most proud of is being able to uh, build the clinical trial capacity to evaluate vaccines against HIV, uh, rotavirus, as well as tuberculosis, as well as being able to build the capacity of Zambians to undertake groundbreaking research. Um, I'm going to talk about the central lab, uh, which is a key area of focus for, for me this morning. And I have the lab management team with, with me here this morning. I hope you have seen the brochures that we have on the table uh, for you, really highlighting the services that we have at our central lab. Our lab was the first lab um, in Zambia to receive the ISO certification from the Southern African Development Community Accreditation Services. We work with the Ministry of Health and currently doing so with funding from CDC to get accreditation for several other public labs. We are the only private lab in the country with this accreditation. Uh, in addition to this accreditation, we do have other audits that happen from the um, NIH, the National Institutes of Health, to ensure that we uh, were able to undertake quality services. We do have state-of-the-art instruments that are backed by a large um, solar plant. Uh, we have robust platforms for a lot of different testing menus, as you can see on this slide. And we operate a sample barcoding system that allows our samples to move uh, electronically from in, uh, inception all the way through to results and um, billing. We also serve as a backup lab for national testing for some of the routine and surveillance tests that the country undertakes. As I said, we do have the SATCAS accreditation and our lab actually has this across several platforms, including hematology, microbiology, and for the clinicians here, we heard about um, the saturation, intracranial saturation. Uh, it's my plea to ask for more microbiology um, to be done. As an infectious disease specialist, we don't do enough um, bacteriology and microbiology, but instead just um, treat our patients with antibiotics without really trying to find out what the true cause is. So we do have microbiology services at the lab. And uh, we do participate in ongoing uh, external quality assurance tests, proficiency testing, and you can see the list of different laboratories that we partner with for this EQA, which is really important for quality services. Um, labs are located in Lusaka, and most recently we opened up in Ndola and Kitwe. And part of this is to support our research agenda that is expanding on the Copper Belt. So why work with ciders? Um, this is highlighted in the brochures that you have, but uh, the key point for us is around quality, the quality that you'll be able to have should you do your laboratory tests with us. I ask that you look at your brochures to see why else you should um, partner with the CIDA Central Lab for all your laboratory needs. I'm going over to research now and um, our lab really has been able to allow us to undertake the research that we do. Without this um, lab, we will not be able to take part in a lot of the research that we do. And what we envision for CIDERS is uh, being a center for clinical and human infection challenge trials in 
Sub-Saharan Africa. We opened up the first human challenge trial um, in 2020. This is the second year that we're running, and this is in, um, in children. We also look at, we're also looking to be the biomedical research hub for the region, and then extend the scope of studies that aligned more with the broader public health program here in Zambia. And again, wearing my marketing hat, we're looking out for basic scientists, looking out for pathologists and clinical scientists. So that if there are any individuals in this audience, or you know others that may be interested in this, please do get in touch with me um, so that we can see how we can partner together. We look to continue to provide hands-on mentorship and training, both in basic and clinical research, as well as support postgraduate studies. And more importantly, we're looking to generate more indigenous investigator-led research. So being able to ask the research questions ourselves and lead that research. For more information, especially for our laboratory services, you have the contact numbers here. Uh, there are CIDA's team members with the clinical research that will be willing to uh, give you more information should you need it. I'd like to acknowledge um, the Ministry of Health, the Government of the Republic of Zambia, and all the different line ministries that we partner with, as well as the uh, numerous collaborators and funders that are listed on this last slide. Thank you so much.